Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel and I am knitting. Not right now, but most of the time. Here's the deal. I have had this specific thing on my to-do list for weeks and I haven't done it because every time I think, hey, I should do that. I also think that would make a good YouTube video. I'll wait to do that until I'm in the mood to film it. And then guess what? I haven't been in the mood to film it, so the thing hasn't gotten done. But today, we are making it happen. And that is making a travel notions pouch. So if I can avoid doing what I normally do, which is talk, 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 then this should be a pretty quick video. But anyway, the story is I got this bag from the Portland Leather Goods outlet in Portland, Oregon, when I visited home in July. I also got this mini dop bag keychain because I thought, oh, if this is going to be the perfect project bag, then this will be the perfect little notions pouch to have with the project bag at all times. I'm using this as a project bag for my Florencia tea and it's working perfectly, but I am annoyed with myself when I need, you know, a pair of scissors or a tapestry needle or stitch marker or a ruler because currently this notions pouch is completely empty and I want to fix that so I'm just going to show you really quickly my must-have items that I put in a notions pouch because this is such a small vessel it might not fit everything that I want to put in here but I'm going to do my best to get all of my essential items that I typically use all the time when I am working on a project in this little pouch. So first things first, I know that I want a pair of scissors in here. So I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors. So I chose this set of scissors and I will tell you, I didn't like these scissors when I first got them. I got them in a pack, a multi-pack, I'm not sure how many, but a multi-pack from Amazon. And the reason I got them is because they fold. So I find these are great for travel and this will be wonderful for this purpose, which is a compact notions pouch. The reasons that I didn't like them at first, or I would, I should say I was scared of them at first because I was afraid that I would cut myself or hurt myself in the folding up process. But I've learned not to be afraid, just go slowly and I'll stay safe. So I have a pair of scissors. I'm gonna put them in the pouch. And the next thing that I would like to put in here is some form of measurement. So whether that is a tape measure or a little gauge ruler, let's see what I have. I went ahead and grabbed this retractable tape measure. Just like many of you may have seen, you pull the tape measure out and then you can press this button to retract it. This isn't my favorite, but it is, I think, the most uh, economic size-wise of the options I have. So I'm going to put that in here, and I'm taking my scissors out and putting the tape measure in at the bottom, just to kind of be mindful of the space. Okay, so, so far I have scissors and a tape measure. Another thing that I know I will want is a tapestry needle. So I'm gonna look at what I have. So you may have noticed by now that there is kind of rhyme and reason to what I put in which drawer, but also there is kind of some randomness. Like why are these gauge measurements in here and not the tape measure drawer? I don't know. Okay, so I've grabbed three options. Two of them are just these straight tipped tapestry needles. One of them is a little bit sharper than the other, but they're still dull, you know, tapestry needles. And I've also grabbed this bent tip tapestry needle because I've learned that I actually like these better. They're easier for me to insert this into the stitch I need and be a little bit more precise. I will say that it took me a long time to decide that. I used to hate these. I don't really know what the switch was in my brain, but now the bent tip tapestry needle is my preference. 
but I'm going to go ahead and put two tapestry needles, one of each variety. So I'll have a straight tipped and a um, bent tip. I'll put both of those in this pouch. Okay, so I have scissors, tape measure, and two tapestry needles. The next thing I'm going to put in here, I think I'll go with some stitch markers. So let's see what I have. Okay, never mind. I decided I need to be nicer to myself because just do what works for you. I don't know why my brain said the stitch markers and the scissors go in the same drawer, but that's what it said, so that's what I did. So as I was looking in my stitch marker drawer, I kind of have things organized in groups in that little, I don't know, drawer tower. I have this tiny little plastic container. I think I got this with, I don't know, some random thing it came with and I kept the container. And then I also have a big container, well, relative to this, a bigger container of light bulb stitch markers. So I'm just gonna take some of these light bulb stitch markers, put them in the smaller container, and then put that container of stitch markers in the pouch. I also say that I used to hate light bulb stitch markers. I thought that they were the absolute worst and should just be, I don't know, destroyed globally. I thought they were horrible. But I see the value of them now. I use them to mark increases or decreases, and I find they're really helpful to clip onto the fabric I'm knitting to tell me whatever I need to know. So my mind has changed. Okay, so now I have a little grab and go container of stitch markers and those can go in my pouch. Here's what the pouch looks like now. There's definitely still a little bit of room, but we are certainly reaching capacity. So I'm only going to fit one last item in here and I'll tell you, it might surprise you what I choose. In every single Notions pouch that I make for myself, I do my best to include three items that are not necessarily required for knitting or crocheting. And those three items are lip balm, tweezers, and nail clippers. And, um, you know, sometimes I'll use the nail clippers as a substitute for scissors in a pinch, but usually <laughs> I just have them because I also like sometimes have an emergency, like maybe I break a nail or something, or I don't know, I like feel a whisker on my face or whatever, or I have chapped lips or dry cuticles. So those are the three items that aren't necessarily knitting or crochet related, but I do my best to include in my Notions pouches. In this, I know I don't have room for all three of those, so I'm just gonna go with the most important one because it is multi-use, and that is gonna be some lip balm. So I'm gonna put it in there. I think that pretty much did it. There is a little space where I could probably fit a little bit more, but I'm gonna call that good. I'll zip this up and look. Now I have a handy, full, equipped, ready to go, notions pouch to go with me wherever I take this project. So whoop, very happy to have um, have this done. What just dropped is this acorn that I have from Simply Serving. It is clipped onto a light bulb marker, but this light bulb marker that I have keeps coming unclasped. So I'm going to replace it with one that is a little bit more willing to stay put. I think and let me do that really quickly there I think that will be a little bit more snug I'll keep an eye on it just in case because I definitely don't want to lose this cute little acorn embellishment on my beautiful leather bag so there you have it that is how I would choose to outfit a mini notions pouch now if this were a bigger notions pouch and I had room for more things I certainly would use it. I would definitely put the nail clippers and the tweezers like I mentioned. There are um, things like these tip ties from Twice Sheared Sheep that I like to use to protect my stitches. I like to have those in my Notions pouches. This handy tool from Susan Bates would have been a good addition. One end is a crochet hook. The other end is uh, pointy like a double pointed needle or a tapestry needle. So it's great if you drop your stitches to repair that. So things like that. But I'm very happy with this. This has 
the basic necessities that I grab or that I reach for when I am working on a project. So I'm calling that a win. All right, that's it. I think I succeeded. It's a short video. Okay, great. Awesome. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you don't already. You can turn that notification bell on to be notified of my next upload. Last but not least, head over to Instagram and follow me at Rachel is Knitting if you don't already. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.